in this episode of Cheap Flight Adventures, I'm going to be trying something a bit different. My LG phone comes with this really gimmicky feature in the camera app, where it basically generates a character based on what it thinks you look like. It doesn't work out well. The feature seems rather rushed. It seems rather work in progress. It seems like a rushed out to try and rival something Apple's doing or something. And in some ways, there's lots of features on it. In other ways, there's lots of features lacking. Like, for example, you can't change that much about what a character looks like. But one thing you can change a lot is not the character's eyes, but the pupil in the middle of the eye. There's, like, over a 100 different options of what it looks like. So why are so many options in that little tiny area? And also, one thing about this feature is the lip sync is out by 6 thirtieths of a second, which I had to then correct in Vegas to make the lip sync look a bit better. So I don't know if this is a good feature type of my videos, I don't know if it makes the video better or if it doesn't add anything, but I'm going to try some for the next few videos to see what the results look like. So let's get the video started. This is the Chief Light Adventure to Bucharest in Romania and here's my airplane landing. It's the middle of the night, so I long ago to a place where I was staying. And the next day, let's take a look at my hotel room. This room cost just £15 a night, and it is very nice. It's actually rated 8 out of 10 on booking.com. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's all clean, it's all really good. It's a very nice place to stay. Now, let's take a look around Bucharest, and in Bucharest, there's loads of steaming street covers. I don't know why it's steaming, maybe it's some sort of across city heating system, I don't know, it's very weird. And a lure go to a tower block in Bucharest. This tower block's very interesting, it's got four lifts. Sadly, the lifts have been replaced with absolutely horrid lifts, which are painfully slow and boringly modern, but the tower block itself is very interesting. And now I go along to an old department store. And this old department store has an old manually controlled lift. Now in England, manually controlled lifts are only installed in the decade of the 1900s. And after that, automatic controls came in very quick. But maybe in Bucharest, manual controlled lifts were installed later. Or maybe it's because they wanted a lift attendant in this department store because they thought it was posh, so they put in a manually controlled lift. It's really interesting. And along to an old block of flats, which has an absolutely awesome old lift from probably 20s or the 30s. This lift is completely epic. Let's ride it.
along to my lift surf in Bucharest, which is on some 3.5 metres a second fist and crops. These lifts are nice and fast. Originally 1980s Otis lift, which you can see from this bit on the outside, but now they've been replaced by fist and crop. Go along to the Pumandara shopping centre. This shopping centre has some very nice Schindler Eurolifts. These are the full spec 5400s, really nice and big, and they've got a very interesting light up floor. along to the Gloss Schindler 5400s. The price of food in Romania, and food in Romania is very cheap. Now statistics say the price of food in Ukraine is the cheapest in Europe, but it doesn't say the food in Romania is very slightly cheaper than Ukraine. So let's take for example a 100 gram chocolate bar. In England there's a big variation on price. Smaller shops 100 grams is a pound, but in bigger supermarkets you can get it for like 80p. Now in Germany a 100 gram chocolate bar is 1 euro, so that's 85p. In Poland, these are just 60p. And I was going to do a bit in my video to Roklo in Poland, how cheap food is. But Romania overrules this. Because in Romania, it's just 50p. That is so cheap. And in KFC, they do these wrap 
pizza-y things. Now, I don't sell these in England. If I did, I'd probably be five or six pounds. In Poland, I sell these for about three pound fifty to four pounds. And I was going to say that's really cheap. But in Romania, they sell them for just two pound fifty. But with that said, I'd actually say they taste a bit better in Poland than they do in Romania. And now, as I'm in the skyscrapers area of Bucharest, let's sneak into the skyscraper. And this is the only skyscraper I managed to get in. This one has entry barriers, but it's so pathetic because the barriers are only on the ground floor. So you just have to take a lift up to Mesling and you can avoid them. You can get in a lift on Mesling takes you down to inside the barriers area. So their security is bad. And the lifts are so I see awesome glass. Four meter a second Schindler M series of destination dispatch. Let's ride them. along to Bucharest Central Station, which is called Gare du Nord, which is interesting that it's using the French name for it. And just like most of Eastern Europe, the stations are dark, spooky and ever so interesting. It's something about going on a train in Eastern Europe. It's not just a regular train journey. If you were to go on a train here, it really would feel like you're off on an adventure. <laughs> Outside the station, where there's even more steaming street covers. Bucharest seems to be full of steaming street covers. They are everywhere, and some of them really are steaming.
and along to the next shopping centre. This one is particularly interesting, as it's a really well done shopping centre, not one of the half-hearted ones. And it's got lots of interesting stuff, not just shops, but lots of activities. This shopping centre is big and really nice. And it's got some Schindler Euronips. And this shopping centre has a roller coaster in the middle of a shopping centre. I've never seen a shopping centre with a roller coaster in the middle before. Now we go along to the posh hotels and the first one is Radisson Blue which has some Schindler M series lifts. This hotel is connected onto parking by Radson, which has some rubbish generic lifts. and along to the Hilton, which has some Otis lifts. And along to the Sheraton, which has some nice Schindler M series lifts. And it's also got some glass Schindler Eurolifts. And along to the Marriott, and this hotel is over the top posh, but sadly the lifts are just Otis lifts.
now go to the next shopping center, which is the Liberty Center. This shopping center was all right. It's got Otis lifts. And if you want to escape Christmas music, don't go here because they're playing loads and loads of English Christmas songs. Ugh. I do not know why Romanians would want to hear English Christmas songs, but obviously they think they do in this center. And whilst inside the shopping centre, the traffic lights switched off and when I came out with some massive traffic jams and aggressive Romanian car driving. And now along to a car park with some generic lifts, which you can cancel a call by pressing a button three times. It's weird that some lifts have call cancellation, but they're all different. Some you press it twice, some you long press, some you have to press it three times. And there's no universal way to do it. I don't think anyone ever uses the floor cancel feature. And now along to the next shopping centre, which is Plaza Romania. And this shopping centre was a bit basic, really. And it's got a cone eco disc. And now along to a super shiny lift in this posh building in the middle of Bucharest. And now I go back to the airport. Indeed. 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 